You want to play a brutal beachhead, but you keep dying since every game 10 people drop there with you? Or you don't even feel confident enough to drop brutal to begin with? Don't worry, I got you covered. In this hotspot analysis, I will teach you every single thing there is to know in order to win more games in brutal, which is, in my opinion, the coolest new POI in season 3. I will do this by first splitting the city into different areas, second going through these areas in detail, third show all car and loot spawns, including the new car mod boxes, fourth show the best drop spots and drop rotations and finally fifths by explaining strategy meaning important angles rotations and how to play brutal beachhead and trust me there is a lot and i mean a lot to learn about this new area my name is tsk and after analyzing every single thing in depth in season one and two i'm excited to get started with season three my goal is to become the best together with you guys so first up, we're splitting the POI into different areas, so it will be easier to analyze each. And as you will see, I chose to zoom out a little further on the map. And I'm doing this honestly because there's just so many car spawns that getting to Brutal Beachhead itself is pretty simple even if you drop slightly further away. However, I only took drops that allow you to reach the boss fight before it's over because once somebody got that mystic car, it is pretty damn difficult to uh, destroy it. So we want to prevent that. We want to arrive before the boss fight is over. So the area we're gonna talk about are starting in the north the dam bridge slightly further to the east the wreck mill a little bit further p boys hq then we're gonna quickly talk about the big oasis is what i'm gonna call it which is absolutely beautiful then we got megalo depot exactly in the east of brutal beachhead and down below that a little place i'm gonna call small oasis and then on the other side we got sandy step and of course we got brutal beachhead itself okay we're starting with the dam bridge probably my personal favorite PUI on the whole map because man look at it it's just so beautiful but let's talk about loot car mods barrels slurp cacti and everything else you can find here as you can see this place is absolutely stacked it comes with a couple guaranteed chests and car spawns and on average you'll find 11 chests here which is quite a bit of loot plenty of floor loot and very interestingly all three types of car mods for all three different slots every time. But let's hop on the map where I can show you everything in detail. So we'll start in the north here. And the first thing you can see is this little porter potty that will teleport you over to the other side, by the way. I'll show you the exact spot in a moment. Before we go to the dam bridge, you will find a cactus right here. It's not rendered in for unknown reasons right now. <laughs> But you'll find it exactly over here. And as you can see, there will be a chest over here quite often. And if you head over to this side, this is where you find the guaranteed car spawn that also didn't spawn in the replay system right here. A reboot van over here. Before we head over to the actual dam bridge, down below right here is where you're going to find the two different car mods, but not the Gatling gun that's up top. I'll show you that in a moment as well. You will find fishing rods guaranteed over here every time, as well as plenty of fish to catch right here. And with these zip lines you can get on top of the bridge but if you go to the other side you will find a guaranteed chest here every single time which is why this is one of my go-to drops if i drop here also make sure you do not miss any of these chests that can be hidden on different locations here and the main loot you will find here is gonna be in this building if you go down below here you will find a way in if you go to the other side, make sure you loot all of these doors because inside is of course where you're gonna find the loot. Take the stairs afterwards, you'll find another chest over there quite often and if you go inside you'll find more. Same of course with the next door right here. On this little, I don't know, I wanna call it a makeshift bed but I don't wanna sleep here to be honest. <laughs> and then all the way on top, most of the time you'll find a chest right here. You have to destroy the steel beams in order to get there though. Down below here is where you can actually find one of these uh, what are they called? Well, they catapult you in the sky and you can rotate over wherever you want to be. And on top, there is the other side of the porter potty that I told you guys about. Of course, there's also more loot in this little building. And as I've shown you, there's also a machine gun attachment for your car to find. But for that, you gotta rotate over this side, go over the bridge and then over here. This is where you'll find it exactly down here. Again, the replay system doesn't like these boxes for some reason, but this here is exactly where you'll find it. Sadly, you cannot take the zip line with your car and get it easier. I'm afraid you have to rotate around. And then if we go a little further, there's one more thing I'd like to show you. Apart from cactus that you can find over here, you will find another part of body. Of course, you cannot take it with your car, but what you can do is if you go by foot, you will be teleported to this little part of body center that also comes with a reboot van, by the way, which can be useful to 
know, you will arrive in this potter potty and if you take the other potter potty, you will get teleported closer to Brutal Beach Head, exactly over there to this little potter potty. Okay, so quite the distance actually, if you look at it. And important to know if you wanna make the rotation. A nice little extra I found is all the way over here where we have this small little building with one, two, three, four, five barrels as well as a bonfire down here. So if you're in need of any help anytime, go over here, guys. It's right over here. Next up, we have the Wreck Mill. It comes with an average of nine chest spawns, three cacti, one car spawn that is not guaranteed, by the way. However, if it's there, you'll find it very easy to attain the weapon mod on top of the dam bridge. You'll find some barrels and most importantly, an NPC that sells a purple Thunderburst SMG, which is of course an insane way to start your match. But again, let's take a look at it on the map we're starting on the west side and this time don't ask me why it actually spawned in this is where you find a weapon mod for your car by the way it's not guaranteed which one will spawn here same for the others but yeah first up let's head over to the rag mill over here you'll find the car a cactus over there another cactus by the way if you zoom in you can see it quite nicely over here and let's head over first up you see the reboot van right here you'll find plenty of loot in the actual mill as well as barrels however not as many as you used to and normally on top you'll find a chest as well to go back outside you'll find the npc and this npc he sells you the thunderburst yep it has no attachments but uh, yeah it's still really nice to have early on and then before we check out these little buildings let's check out this side here it will usually come with one or two chests down here as well as water in case you want to take a swim for no reason and if you get back up you'll find this building as i said and you'll find plenty of loot in here. There's gonna be chests here, also behind these boxes quite often, so make sure you check this all out. And then lastly, over here, you'll find a chest as well. On top, we have a bunker spawn over there that can also come with some loot straight ahead of it. And then lastly, another cactus over here. Next, we have P-Boys HQ. And again, first, let's take a look at loot. On average, we get nine chests over here. We get two weapon mod boxes, two tire boxes, and one spike bumper slash cow catcher, as well as an NPC that's uh, the hammer pump shotgun, nitro splash, and repair tool. You'll also always find cars here. Again, let's hop into the game. Okay, and first up, you'll see the reboot van right here as I arrive. Detachments on the floor for your car wherever you can see as well as these car repair stations of course as well you find the actual loot in this building on all levels here of course also go inside and you find loot anywhere as well make sure you check underneath the staircase as the always in fortnite i don't know what they they like so much about it this building is actually pretty uh, complex and fighting here is super fun i had a couple really cool matches here and here yeah, again you can find these car mod boxes everywhere here and you can definitely build the exact car you want and after you did that you have these nice little ramps that will catapult you towards brutal beach head as well a little extra on the other side here is the orchid station and here you can find shield because right here is where you find huh it despawned what okay it's back okay i don't know what's happening guys with the replay system <laughs> here you find a health station guys okay pretty useful to know as well the next mini py is the big oasis and again as always let's take a look at loot there's one little thing i missed and that is the porter party in p boys hq it leads you straight to this py um i'll show you that in a moment there is a hidden slurp truck very useful very few chests only three but fishing rods with plenty of fish as well as four cacti making this a really useful drive by if you ever are in need of heal slash shields let's hop in the game and for this one we're starting back here at this little building next to the oasis because it comes with the hidden slurp truck how do you get it you zip up go through this little door you have three barrels here but if you just break the floor you'll be down here and there you can get the slurp truck okay very useful then if we hush over here real quick this is the porta potty that leads you to p boys hq okay so quite the distance you can see it over there Forgot to show you this one earlier, but now you know, okay? Wow, that's actually quite far. Next, we have a couple very nice cacti down here. So if you're ever nearby, go for these two here because, uh, yeah, very fast heal, very fast shield. And there's another one right there. But there's three of them right next to each other. And it despawned. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, it's back. It's back. It's back. I don't know why it keeps spawning at despawning. Very weird. 
Okay, if we go to the actual races, this is where you find a chest guaranteed every single time, as well as all the way over there. Okay, so if you need loot desperately, because maybe you get like driven off uh, your actual drop, that's where, where you get the chests, okay? You'll find fishing rods all around the lake down here and on the other side. And we got another jump pad down here. That's the word I think, jump pad. There you go. And of course, you can also be fancy and drive around here and get the double nitro gate here, which is pretty cool. The jump itself is pretty mediocre, I have to say. I wish it was uh, a little bit a little bit better. <laughs> Wait, let me show you the jump actually. Wait, okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. Kinda lame, if you ask me. Kinda lame. <laughs> the next POI is Migalo Depot. And again, let's take a look at loot first. As you can see here again, you get all three different types of car mod, meaning you can create a fully modded car here. You got tires and weapon to the left, as well as a bumper mod all the way to the right. As you can see, there's a couple zip lines to move faster around. Plenty of cacti, especially down here on the bottom right. If you ever in desperate need for shield or heal, remember the spot. On average, you find 11 to 13 chests here, which is quite a bit. And you also find plenty of cars, which is why I personally actually really like dropping here. Get a car, get all three attachments and then drive straight over to Brutal itself. But let's take a look at it in the game. Okay, we start all the way over here and again. Oh, Cactus is rendered in. Okay, I wanted to say Cacti not rendered in, but this is where you find the two Cacti as well as two chests. One is always up here, by the way. Don't miss it. And then if we head straight over here. This is exactly where you find the bumper mod. Let me see if I can spawn it in. Yes, I can. There it is. As well as the car repair station. This is the zip line, by the way. So if you want to quickly move over without using a car, here you go. Then once you arrive here, you'll find loot pretty much everywhere you can look. As well as on top of these... Uh, don't ask me what, the, what this is. But make sure you loot this as well. More car repair stations down here. And you'll find the other car mods down here. Here. Let me see if I can spawn them. Yes, I can. There we go. <laughs> you find another cactus right here next to the car mod station and inside here next to the reboot van. And then if you go slightly outside, you find another one right here. Here. Lastly, there's one more thing to take a look at, and that is this polar party down here. We'll talk about it in the next POI, but basically, it teleports you all the way over there. Okay, and with this we make it to the small oasis down south and again loot and as you can see here guys This this little POI is all about shield and heal with plenty of barrels But mainly plenty of cacti easily fully healing you anytime you go here because these cacti also respawn And on top you'll find an average of five chests here a jump pad to rotate and also a porta potty here That brings you back to Megalo Depot insanely cool spot. Let me show you what it looks like in the game Okay so as you can see there is plenty of cacti everywhere around this little mini island here an npc that sells by the way a boom bolt a purple okay very interesting and good to know there's the little uh, jump pad over here so when you want to rotate afterwards to the brutal beachhead uh, this is pretty simple there's also like a lot of barrels as well however barrels kind of useless if you have five cacti here and again you can see all the chests everywhere there's a bus down below, okay. There's two barrels here as well in front of the bus, by the way. And in the bus, you normally find a chest as well. This time, not bad. On top, there's also a building that you can reach by going up these stairs here. And inside, you also find loot and a pretty cool scenery, to be honest. And more barrels, even. I don't know why there's so many barrels here. There's honestly no need, again. And we got the Potter -potty, potty that brings us back all the way over there to Megalo Depot as well quite the distance okay so rotating over is gonna be insanely simple as well okay we have one last spot before we reach brutal beachhead itself that is sandy steps and again quickly loot and as you can see this is where you find the most chests by far since this is a py that existed before season three where we got no loot at all in general <laughs> go here for high loot density as you can see you will also find a weapon mod here for your car as well as if you rotate to brutal you'll find the bumper on top very easily attainable cacti as well it's super easy to just drive over them you also also got an npc here that sets a tactical ar if you like that thing and yeah let's take a quick look in the game before we finally reach brutal <laughs> but this one will actually start in front of sandy steps and here you find the bumper right away here you'll find the cactus and then of course you'll find loot everywhere in every single building 
And for the sake of this video, it's gonna be too much to show everything here. What's important though is you find the NPC at this building and then over here if you go through the bridge you find a weapon mod right there okay and then if you maybe come here with a squad or something I can recommend dropping the very old boss UI here because it comes with a lot of chests but don't forget that you have to be pretty fast in order to actually reach brutal reach head if you take too long here the boss fight is gonna be over already. And at last, Brutal Beachhead itself. Before I do a quick summary where I explain the strengths of every single one of these drops. Before we go deeper and decide where to drop when you're solo, duo, trio or squad. Depending on if you want a slow drop, a fast drop, aka a hot drop or a medium drop. But first loot. Let's talk about the weapon mods first. Weapon mods? The car mods first. You have two tire mod boxes and one weapon mod box. No bumper can be found here. You got three guaranteed car spawns. Two of them being at the low ground in the ship and you will find plenty and i really mean plenty of loot here this might be the highest loot density in all of the new pois you'll only find one cactus however plenty of barrels and of course you'll find megalodon that will drop his infinite nitro medallion his mystic combat shotgun and his mystic fish and on top of course the mystic car at the end as well let's hop in and we are starting at the little porter party that I showed you guys earlier that uh, teleports you all the way over there to the spotter body station. And if we turn around right here is where we find our first weapon, I mean car mod, sorry. And then we move over to the actual PUI. Okay, there is a lot to digest here. Let's start with this. There's a car spawn down there. It just despawns. There we go. It's, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this cast one is actually guaranteed it's always here every single time and then if we head over to the left you'll find loot everywhere here of course but you find barrels down there okay this is something you need to learn you'll also find barrels down here in this container also something you should learn let's continue outside of the actual ship first these cranes have uh, zip lines that you can take and like in Apex Legends, you'll find loot up here. I don't know why, but these give me insane Apex vibes. And then over here is where you'll actually find the garage of Megalodon. That is this little building down here. This is where you find the Mystic Car, as well as plenty of other loot down here. This whole area is kind of really cool if you actually look at it in detail. But then if you take this little ramp, you need to know that in this little building, you'll also find a barrel if you're ever in desperate need for some shield. But let's take a look at the actual ship. I think it's best if we start from the bottom and work our way up. If you go inside first up, I'll tell you this here already. Be careful that nobody is camping you from up there. However, we'll get to that in a moment. You'll find the weapon mod for a car down here as well as a guaranteed car spawn down here and over there as well. Both of these cars will spawn 100% of the time. And then, oh my god, they despawned again. There we go, it's back. Uh, you'll find a tire mod down here as well as plenty of loot everywhere. Make sure you find the chests, okay? They're slightly hidden sometimes. You'll also find plenty of doors. Some of these don't actually lead anywhere apart from like these uh, stairs. However, some of these are also small little rooms there. We they will have chests in them most of the time. You find them at the edge here, both of them. Make sure you also check this little container over here. And then let's slowly work our way up. Again, also container, guys. Always containers. You can come uh, to the outside here. The stairs down below that lead you outside. There's a zip line outside that puts you all the way up top as well. And then in here, you'll find plenty of rooms and plenty of loot everywhere. If you actually play this, you have to be super careful. Nobody is camping you, but it's, it's probably gonna happen, guys. And there is a lot of passers everywhere. Again, look out for these angles. They can be really hard to deal with if you walk inside, especially higher up. Again, more rooms everywhere. Barrels as well in this little room. And then if you go further up, you'll be on the deck. You'll find barrels. And up there, even more barrels. I'll get to it in a moment. And as always, guys, check the containers because they will have chests quite often. And if we go inside this building, no matter where you go in, either down there or through this door or even up here through this door or take these stairs you will be in this little area where in general you'll find the boss but it's usually down below there is so many angles to look out for here it's very dangerous to to play this part i'm not gonna lie which is why i personally don't drop on the ship itself ever because there's just so many angles to constantly be checking like look at this angle here for example and you could come in here Wait up here. This ship has absolutely crazy angles and loot literally everywhere. Quickly, want to show the other side though here. 
This here also comes with barrels and there will always be a chest exactly here at the front of the Brutal Beach Head. So let us talk about drops. First up, let me summarize real quick what the advantages of each of the areas are. The Dam Bridge is a really nice mix of getting quick loot and guaranteed shield slash heal. The Wreck Mill comes with that purple Thunderburst SMG. P-Boys HQ has by far the highest car mod versatility, meaning you can craft the perfect car every time. Time. Megalo Depot also comes with three car mods, decent loot, and is very close to the Brutal Beach Head. The big oasis is not a drop, there's not enough loot. The small oasis, however, has infinite heal slash shield, fast loot, and a super quick rotation. Sandy Steps has by far the highest loot density and two car mods. And Brutal itself obviously has the advantage you're the closest to the boss. You also got high loot density, however, severe camping slash third party danger. So, what are the slow drops? What are the medium drops what are the hot drops the dam bridge is definitely a slow drop i've never had a single enemy there so if you want to chill good spot to drop same all the way down south here at the small oasis no enemies inside and then medium drops we got sandy steps that can usually have one or two enemies same with the rack mill because people realize that you actually get a purple thunderburst here which is of course pretty good and p boys hq same story over here as well as megalo depot the Gato Depot is pretty spread out, so you can still kind of evade fights here. And then at the end, the ultra hot drop Brutal Beach Head itself, you will have fights literally non-stop from start to finish. And then as I said before, the Oasis is not a drop. You can rotate here and it's good to know where to find all the cacti here and stuff. However, please don't drop here unless you really get driven off P-Boys HQ. Omegado Depot and need some quick loot, you'd at least get two to three chests here. But in solos, you can drop on all of these POIs. In duos, I can no longer recommend dropping down at the small oasis because it simply doesn't have enough loot. It does have enough shield for sure. And in trios and squads, I can no longer recommend the dam bridge. Same story, not enough loot. Same for P-Boys HQ and the Rack Mill. Meaning for squads, I can only recommend Sandy Steps, Megalo Depot and Brutal Beachhead. So the final point, strategy. How do you actually play Brutal Beachhead? As you might have noticed, I am not a big fan of dropping on Brutal Beachhead itself, which is why I did this whole thing of like actually analyzing all the POIs next to Brutal Beachhead, because I really believe it is critical to drop somewhere else. You will simply get third partied and camped too much if you drop on Brutal and don't have enough loot to defend yourself with. It's much better to avoid the initial fight. Loot one of the POIs, depending on which strengths of the POI you want. For example, you want to start with a purple thunderburst, go wreck mill. If you want perhaps a better rounded loadout, go to the dam bridge, etc. Be fast while you loot because you really want to be pushing brutal ASAP. Otherwise, the boss fight will be done already. But honestly, you'll notice that 90% or more of the time, you will arrive and come just in time for the third party, giving you the boss fight for free pretty much because you're going to be so much better geared than anybody that dropped here and had to go through this insane drop fight. You'll be full shield, you'll have a decent loadout. If you want even a perfectly equipped car, if you went to P-Boys HQ or Megalo Depot, then again, once you reach Brutal Beachhead, the boss will normally be on the low ground, unless somebody triggered him to go upstairs. If he's on the low ground, use your car to get rid of all enemies or the boss himself even. If he's still inside the ship, make sure you look out for all these different angles. Honestly, you can expect to get shot from literally every single angle. Be highly cautious about this. And again, once you get the boss, you will get the infinite nitro medallion, the mystic combat shoddy, the mystic fists, and Megalodon's mystic car as well. Okay, guys, this was a crazy amount of work. I hope it's worth it. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you appreciate the effort, leave a like and subscribe, especially if you want to see more videos in the future. Thank you for watching. Check out my other guides on everything Fortnite Geo Build, Fortnite Geo Build gameplay related. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.